just weeks after uh, the SP and the BSP announced that uh, announced their alliance uh, in uh, Uttar Pradesh for the Lok Sabha elections. Now more granular details coming out about the actual seat sharing formula that's been worked out. Alok Pandey joining us at this point. Alok, what are we learning? Well, I think uh, we can only analyze uh, what we are seeing right now at first glance. Uh, I can actually it will take some time to figure out how exactly they have divided the seats. But from the first glance, I think one or two interesting things. One, that Mayavati party has released the seat distribution for both parties. So it's clear who has the upper hand here in that sense. Also, Mayavati is fighting 38 seats, her total quota of the alliance which was allowed. Well, the Samajwadi Party, Ankita, is fighting 37 seats. They have announced uh, a distribution of 37 seats, while Mayavati's party has announced 38. So that would be 75 out of 80 seats. Two, they already said that they would not, uh, they would not uh, uh, field any candidates on the Amethi and the Rai Bari Lok Sabha seats, which are both uh, Congress Party bastions. So that's uh, 77. Now, the three that they have left, uh, it seems that these three seats will be contested by the Rashtri Lok Dal, which is RLD. So, uh, if you remember, in the last some time, there was speculation that the Taya could also include a East Things party. And that is something that seems to have been factored in by these parties, uh, saying that, uh, uh, look, uh, one of the seats that the RLD wants to fight will have to be from the Samajwadi Party's quota. That's one. The second important point, Ankita, is that Despite all this speculation that Priyanka Gandhi was leading some kind of a renewed effort to at least speak to Akhilesh Yadav and try and get into the alliance in some way or the other or impress upon this Gatbandhan, that the Congress also needed to be part of it. If you remember, there were some stories that had been done about a week ago when Priyanka Gandhi was in UP, that the Congress was still interested in some kind of an alliance between with the SP and the BSP, and they thought... Priyanka Gandhi could lead renewed efforts towards this. The door has been shut on that speculation, at least from this list. I mean, unless they were to go back on this and announce another list at some point of time, which is very unlikely. It seems that the door has been shut for the Congress, and Mayavati particularly has led this, because we've reported in the past how Mayavati has been extremely angry with the Congress in the last some time, and she's the one who believes that the Congress does not have the availability factor in UP. So any speculation now that the Congress could have got her way into this alliance, at least for now, stands, uh, it, it, it won't happen because these people have already announced their seats. On the seats itself, my final point, on first glance again, some of the seats that the Samajwadi Party has got are interesting. They've got Lucknow. They've also got Varanasi. So whoever, uh, uh, I mean, it's almost confirmed that Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, is going to fight from there. So he'll have a challenger from the Samajwadi Party there. Also, some of the other urban seats, for instance, Allahabad, Faisabad, Lucknow, all of them have got in, gone into the Samajwadi Party quota. Another interesting seat that I saw before I was doing the phone was Barabanki, another seat where there was speculation about who would get the seat. Barabanki is about 30 kilometers from Lucknow, Ankita, and uh, it is a seat where the Congress is also also very mazboot, as they say, very strong. Uh, that seat. I believe, has gone to the Bahujan Samaj Party, if I read it correctly, though I'll go back and just double-check this. But I think the larger news points, obviously, are that the door is shut on the Congress and that the RLD will then end up fighting three seats of this alliance.